you have an issue with um, irregularity with going to the bathroom, then try some greens. A green, greens a day, maybe keep the doctor away. That's what they say about apples. <laughs> Welcome. Today I'm going to give you an update of my garden. About a month ago, I showed you my garden and it was in a very bad state. <laughs> and today I'm going to show you, give you a little update. I don't know if it's any better, but at least the leaves are standing up. So you'll see what I'm talking about. As I walk over to the garden, I just, you guys know, I've talked about this in the past. I've cooked the greens on my channel. That was about a year ago when I had my first channel. And I did the gardening video regarding the Chinese greens. I really do like greens because I grew up eating turnip greens, collard greens. But one of my favorite greens is turnip greens but it's very similar to the chinese greens so here here are the greens the last video i said i was going to clean out my garden pull out the weeds and remove some of the yellow leaves and i didn't do it but i've been pretty consistent with watering so I think, I think they look better. I think the greens look better. Let me know what you think. If you saw that first video, let me know if these greens look a little better to you. And I don't know if these yellow greens, these yellow leaves, I don't know if it's because it's really hot or I looked it up over over the internet and it said maybe I'm watering watering too much or too little but nevertheless some of the greens are yellow I'm gonna figure that part out so one of the reasons why I like greens is that the greens is a great source of fiber so fiber you know cleans you out so that's that's a benefit. I'm gonna sit down and give you some more benefits, but one of the things that I like about it is it keeps your colon clean. It makes you regular. If you have an issue with um, irregularity with going to the bathroom, then try some greens. A greens, greens a day, maybe keep the doctor away. That's what they say about apples, but I do like greens. And greens come in different form so you have your you guys know you have your leafy green lettuce you have spinach you have kale and there's different ways you can prepare kale and of course you have your greens that you can cook so I am going to sit down and give you some benefits of eating greens and then also I'm going to show you how I eat my greens so if you want to stick around for that, please do. And I'll make sure you like and subscribe if you're interested in more content about me living abroad, living in Africa, and some of my experiences. So we are going to start with some of the benefits. And I have some notes here. So if you see me looking down or looking over to the side, I have me some notes. But most of you, if you're my age, I'm 53, most of you should remember Popeye, the sailor man. So Popeye would eat spinach, but then he would have these bulging biceps. He would become very, very strong. So, <laughs> some kind of way, they change 
Popeye, when you think of, when you would say Popeye, that's a, when I was a kid, I thought of spinach. So now when you say Popeye or Popeyes, you think of chicken. I am not saying anything negative about Popeye's chicken. Back in the day I had my share, but the red beans and rice were just as delicious. You think of something totally different. So the name has actually changed and where Popeye was something, I have nothing against chicken, but um, spinach is healthy and, and, and chicken, um, you know, I'm not gonna say anything about chicken. I do eat chicken periodically, occasionally, but not a lot. I eat mostly a vegetarian diet. So, and so that's that. But I do want to say, most of us are familiar with Popeye and the, you know, vegetables give you strength. There is some truth. Well, not some, There, there's truth to that. So instead of only making you strong, leafy green vegetables making you strong, such as spinach. There are other leafy vegetables, like there's mustard greens, I think they're more popular, I know in the US. Um, Tanzania, they had mchicha, mchicha I believe, which I really did like. And then you have your char, your bok choy, and you have all types, romaine lettuce, kale, all types of lettuce. So I'm going to go through this this list and tell you the benefits of it. And why am I telling you the benefits of it? We are, if you're in the U.S., you're coming into flu season. And if you are not in the U.S., I like this quote by Lori Deshane. She says it best. Whoever you are, wherever you are in the world, I hope you are healthy and safe. So wherever you are, be healthy. Let's try to be healthy. But you really want to try to make your, keep your body or maintain health year round. So why not just add some healthy green leaves? You know, you can make a salad. You can cook it, you can saute it, you can put it in a smoothie. There's all sorts of ways that you can get healthy greens into your body. So we never know what may hit us. You know, we had the pandemic in 2020. And you know, along with that, good sleep, exercise, all of that is also a good way to keep your immune system up. So I'm going to put these glasses on because I am 53. <laughs> And maybe if I keep eating some of these vegetables I see on here, you know, maybe this will help me with my vision. So, okay. So, leafy green vegetables contain high levels of vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin K, and folate, which are crucial for healthy vision. <laughs> healthy vision. <laughs> immunity. Mm, immunity. Immune, immunity, immunity, <laughs> bone health and cell growth. Minerals like calcium, potassium, magnesium, and iron, vital for strong bones, healthy muscles, nerve function, and oxygen transport. Very good, okay. Also, it can't, contains a lot of fiber, which I talked about earlier, keeping your colon cleanse and, you know, going to the, the, the restroom on a daily basis or every other day or um, on a regular basis. And then, so it promotes healthy gut bacteria, aids digestion, regulates blood sugar and can reduce inflammation and also bloating. It's an antioxidant which combat cellular damage and support healthy aging by reducing the risk of chronic diseases. So I think this is some good stuff. It supports brain health as well. So as you can see, 
Um, I'm not going to read all of this, but that gives you enough information to try, to try to include your leafy green vegetables in whatever way. You know, you can cook them. Some people don't like the mushy. You know, they say greens are mushy. I like, I like all kinds of greens. Everything that I read off, I like those greens. And I have eaten collard greens raw. I have eaten them with a salad. And also I have made a wrap with them. Like I put, I have put beans in collard green leaves and also cabbage leaves and I have eaten it. I put my seasoning on it and I have eaten it. So there's different ways that you can include this in your daily diet. Okay, I almost forgot about this part. So one of the ways that I eat my greens is I put the rice first in the bowl and then I top it with my Chinese greens. And this is very delicious to me. I will see you guys in the next video. And thank you for watching. Bye.